guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game playthrough. Today's game is the third in the series for Days of Discovery, sponsored by The Game Crafter. In the game Days of Discovery, we're playing through three different phases where we're going to gather a sponsor, we're going to then gather goods, and then we're going to go on a sailing mission of sorts to gather victory points. Each of us has a hand of three cards that are face up in front of us, as well as a pool in front of the deck where we can acquire new cards. Gain the favor, move on to the next phase, and then proceed to the final phase. You may or may not proceed to the next phase before I do, yep. so the game will actually give you some benefits if you gather a sponsor soon enough and uh, if you can gather the most points at the end you're going to be the winner so let's go ahead and start playing we'll show you down below what it looks like which is going to be like this and I've got my three cards here Grant's got his three cards here we have three sponsors which were chosen randomly which are chosen randomly six. it's X plus one based on the number of players X being the number of players which means we're not using the merchant guild the noble matriarch or the knight templar when These you guys four are set players aside. you just use all of them yep and additionally, we have our set of five cards out here, which are the market. Right now, we're going to be playing the first phase of the game, which means we're going to try and secure a sponsor. These sponsors are going to have these symbols on them, and each of the symbols represent that specific sponsor. And then the symbols on our cards will represent that specific sponsor as well. So certain cards represent certain sponsors. Additionally, at the top left-hand corner of all of our cards are going to be either maps or scrolls. And if we can gather enough maps and scrolls together to facilitate a sponsor, we'll take that sponsor take three cards and move on to the next phase on your turn you're going to gather cards from the market here you'll get two of them either from the face up pile here or from the top of the deck whenever you draw a card from the top of the deck you're going to remove one from this pile and replace it and continue until you gather one of the sponsors yep. which is how we're going to start the game so we wouldn't let you go first grant all right so i'm just going to take two cards from here so i got a couple symbols for the queen so maybe i'll start going for the queen so I'll take this one, and then I'll just discard this one. And draw, draw a card from top of the deck. deck. Yeah. When you discard a card, it goes to this card pile, and then we put two new cards out. So you're always going to be putting two new cards out in here, allowing other players to select things. Right now, I've got king symbols. I've got two maps and a scroll. This is going to give me a king for two scrolls, and this is a king for one scroll. So right now, I do need six scrolls, so I'm going to go for the king, which I will. So king and king, three scrolls, I'll take both of these. We only have a limit, though, of seven cards, so be aware of that. So right now, I've See, got this one. this card could be considered dangerous, because it only got the symbol for the king. Yeah, so, so I have to be going for the king if I'm going for it. Two, three, four scrolls, and three maps right now, which means I need two scrolls, and I need, what, three, two maps? That sounds all right. So I'll take one card, and I'll discard this card. Yep. And then I'll take this card, which puts my total at seven, right. which is the maximum hand size for this phase. All right, so I've got there's another king one for the two maps. So two, three, that's four, five. So I've got all the maps I need. And I've got one, two, three, and four scrolls, which means I still need two scrolls for the king. I don't like any of these because I don't have the king symbol. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a top card from the deck which is no good for me, but I'll go ahead and also get rid of a card. And I can get rid of a card based on what I think Grant's going for. And Grant's got a lot of cups out, so maybe I'll go ahead and get rid of a cup one. And then replace them from the deck here. All right, you're up. What are you going to do? All right, so I'll take one from the deck, and I'll discard this one. And then I'll take this one. And now you gotta discard. You get all, at the end of your turn, you discard down until you have seven cards. Ah, oh, you discarded all my king cards. A new one of these comes out. A new one of these comes out. No king symbols. I still need. I've got my one, two, three, four scrolls, and I've got five maps. So I still need two scrolls from the king. I'll draw one from here. That's no good. And I will draw another one, which is okay. I'm definitely gonna get rid of this. And I'm definitely going to get rid of this, which means now I only need one scroll, but remember I only get seven cards, so... I now, yeah, I do have to discard two cards from here. I did, uh, I did draw two from the deck, but so I've got two, three, four, five scrolls, I need six, and I've got five maps. So I'll just go ahead and get rid of these two from the deck, and I'll flip over two new ones. Okay, I'll take these two. No! Did you secure a sponsor already? I might have. 
All right, count it up. Because when at the end of your turn, if you secure a sponsor by okay, the symbols, so you can take four it. Scrolls. Yep. One, two, three. Okay, no, I need a map at least. All right. If any of these do it, uh, this one has two maps, but I already have my five maps. So right now, I just need a scroll and a map card that has a king symbol. Is this gonna do it for me? It is. So I can actually get rid of this one here. I'll also get rid of another one. I'll take this one here, I suppose. And uh, these will go to the discard pile. I'll choose this one to get discarded and I'll put two more out. Additionally, we're gonna check to make sure I did this right. I think I did. I'm going to go ahead and look. So I've got all of them have the king symbol. So that means they're all usable to sponsor the king. Two, three, four, five maps, which requires five. And one, two, three, four, five, six scrolls, which means I get the king. So the king is now my my sponsor. Uh, and now I get to choose three cards to keep, right? No, you choose four cards. Four because cards, because start. the king says four. So that makes them a little more valuable, right? Um, Let's go with this one, this one, and this one. And these will all go to the discard pile. So I chose, oh, one more. Well, I'll keep the rough seas. And these will go to the discard pile. So I've got my new four cards. And I've got my king, my happy king, and now it's Grant. Grant's still in phase one. All right, so I'll take a card and I'll discard a card. And then I'll take a card and I'll discard a card. And then I'll discard both of these. How close are you? I need one uh, scroll. Two new cards come out. Yep. Now phase two. So phase two is gathering crews and supplies, right? So start off with, if it says free for the crown, you immediately take it. None of them say that. And, and then there's a free right down here for this one here, which is one that's been removed, which would be, I think, this guy here. So that's not going to help me at all. So since there's none of those, you'll now draft the number of cards it says on your card. Which is three. Yep. So and what's the total cards. amount I can have? It'll say right here, the max. You can have 12 cards max. Three cards with 12 being the max. One, two. And then I can take one from the top of the deck, mm -hmm. too. And if I do that, I can get rid of one of these. Yep. And then I put three new ones out. Okay. So I'm getting my getting my stack going on here. Three, six, and seven. All right, I'll discard. This is some nonsense. And two new ones come out. So you still not get what you need, huh? Free for the king, so I just get this one. Yep, and then you refill it. And then you draft three. One, two, and one from the top of the deck. Three. I'll discard this and put out three new ones for you. And I can only have 12 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I can have one more. All right, so that's what I need. And then. Okay, so, so these will go. We've got five scrolls now and like seven maps. So you're taking this one here? Yep. All right, you can get the queen. So which means the bishop of Lisbon is going to disappear. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. See you later, bishop. Then you're going to go ahead and select three cards to keep, and your market set si size is three as well, so you'll be drafting three as well. Okay, so two more come out. Now, once I when when do we move to the next phase? When everyone has their maximum hand size. Okay, so right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I can get one more for my max, but I'll get to discard just like in the first phase. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna need to get to, up to ten. So I will take this one. That's one, two, and three, which means two more are going to go. 
And then I'm going to need to select to discard two of them. So I'll keep this. I'll get rid of that one most likely. And, oh, well, let's see. What other one do I want to get rid of? And that one. So I should have 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards. So I've had a little extra time because I got my guy a little extra, uh, a little sooner. So now you're at seven cards. Six, actually. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and go. I've got my three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 cards. That's so many cancels of bad luck. Uh, well, I actually am just going to take, I'll take the top three. One, two, and three. I don't want any of these. I'll go ahead and discard them. Moving to your turn. Now you have to discard cards from the pool. Oh, that's true. I'll get rid of these guys then. One, two, and three. There you go. Okay. And I'll discard this one. All right, new ones are going to come out. Just on that nine. One more turn for you, basically, then, huh? One, two, and three. And I will get rid of these three. Oh, and this came for me as well. Okay. And now I gotta choose. So I wanna keep this for sure, and I'll go ahead and get rid of that one. I'll get rid of a rough seas, and I will keep the illness. Two rough seas, two bad luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These will go. And three, four, and five. Okay. These are free for me. And two more will come out. And I'll take these two and this one, and then I'll go through this discard down to ten, and we'll start phase three. Okay, and in phase three, do I shuffle all this together? Oh uh, yeah, shuffle all of that together for a new deck. All right. Here we go. Now flip over your... Uh... Preparing for phase three, which is going to be preparing... This is the segment, right? Completing a segment. We're basically voyaging around. Mm-hmm. It's so interesting how all the cards are used in all three phases, but they're all used in different portions. Different portions of the cards are used. So you're just going to go through your deck right now and select the 12 cards, or the 10 cards that you want the most of. Alright, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And I'll put this guy right there. Perfect. Okay, start with the player who has the lowest value. And these are all in my hand, right? Yep, these are all in your hand, and they're all secret now. Okay. Um, choose to either uh, start a new expedition, or um, or complete a segment. Okay. Or you, uh, you, so you'll prepare a segment, so you'll choose to start a new voyage using either a card from your hand or a random card off the top of the deck. Okay, I'll try to start with my with my hand. So okay, I'll so put this out, out, which is gonna have a three on it, right? Yep. And then you're gonna draw three cards off the top of the deck. Face up. Yep. And you're gonna place them like this, so it co covers this part of the card. And then this is gonna be what you have to overcome for that part of the card. One, and then another one. Yep. Two, and then one more. Yep. So now I need four dudes, and that's an illness, which I luckily. <gasps> oh, here it is. So I can cancel now the your list. actions are going to be either complete the segment or forage. And I'm going to complete the segment. Yep. So that's ca that cancels illness, which this is an illness card. Yep. So I get rid of those three. Now I just need a one and a one, which yep. is going to be perfectly this one right here. So illness is canceled, and then one and one, one and one. So these cards get discarded. Yep. All right. Along except, with these three. Except for this one. It's the only one you keep. I keep that for three points, and then... What you're going to do is you're going to place it right here in the completed segments. Yep. And then you're going to take a card from your hand, face down, and you're going to put it in for scoring in the journals. 
mm -hmm. and you're going to score the numbers on the boats at the end of the game. So you're going to know half of your opponent's score. All right, so I'll hide that like that, right? No, uh, the journal part. Right oh, here. right there. Yep. Okay, and when the game is over is when we get how uh, many? Someone has completed five. Everyone else gets one more turn. Okay. Okay, so I'll go with the nun. Okay. Which will give me one, two, and three. So you need two barrels and a rough seas card, or you need four barrels and a crew. So it's four barrels? Four barrels and a crew member, or if you have a rough seas card, you only need two barrels. One of the two. I'll go with these then. That's five barrels and two crew. Okay, so those all get discarded. Put that there and put one in your journal. Anything else? Rough seas. Hmm. Oh, you can take one off the top of the deck, too. That's true, huh? I think I will just simply... My dog. Put this one out. And then three, right? Uh, yep. Oof. Okay. Six crew members. One, two, il two illnesses and one food. Or one supply. Oh no. I can do bad luck in rough seas, but I can't complete that. Okay, if you can't complete it, then what you're going to do is you're going to forage. Okay. Uh, you're going to reveal four cards from the top of the deck. One, two, three, and four. You're going to add one of those as a hardship to this and put the rest in your hand, and that's going to be your turn. Now, it's interesting because you could put less on on what you're going to have to overcome, but maybe it's got a good symbol here, or maybe it's got a good point value. Yeah. All right, I think I will randomly explore. Three. Illness, rough seas, and two barrels. You might be in as much trouble as I was. Four crew and four barrels. Four and four. Here we go. Four crew, four barrels. You got it. Now you can also put a card from here into your journal as well, right? No. Oh, okay. It has to be from your hand. From your hand. So you're going to want to... Um, At least save the big ones for the journal then. Line it up. All right, one, two, this is gonna be painful, but there's six and six, which I need six and three. I just need to complete it, unfortunately. There you go. Put you over here. Uh, see, I don't know if this game is historically accurate, but it feels like it's historically accurate. Because it's painful to go through this. Well, you know, you're, you're just sailing on the high seas and all of your crew members just happen to uh, get sick. Two. So we got illness and bad luck. Well, that is painful. Time for foraging. Yeah. One to the play field there, and one to your hand. All to your hand. They all go to your hand. Ooh, whoops. Well, in that case, I made a goof there. One, two. Should I actually should just be two more cards, right? Yes, yeah. four. Okay. Yeah, that that was a goof on my. Yeah, whenever you forage, you'll reveal four, put one onto the thing, and take the rest to your hand. That's just gonna be a two. 
which is a rough tease. Let's see if it's generate. Oh, bad luck. I don't have a way to cancel. Oh, I do. Bad luck and a barrel. Oof. Put you there. I'll put you there. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere in life. It's going to be forging again. Now, right now, I do I, I right now my options are I can play a card down. Oh no! You, you if you don't have a segment prepared, you'll prepare a segment and then you'll choose to either complete it or forge. Let's go from the top of the deck. Okay. Illness. Illness. I have to forge then, right? Oh yeah! If you can't complete it, then you forge. Oh, oof. Take all that. All right, you're up. This is not helping. Me. Forge again. Okay, I'm going to put this one on. Yep. I still cannot complete it either, so I have to forage. Yep. You're gonna go here, and you guys will come with me. Fortunately, now I can complete it, because I happen to find a priest to counter the bad luck, Yep. a doctor to cure the illness, and then enough supplies for the other three symbols. That'll do oh. it. No, it's a... Uh, oh. This card instead. Okay. Two points. And... All right. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven plus a bunch of barrels. I only need one. Yep. So that will complete this one here. And I'll take one from my hand and place it. All right, I'm at four now. Your turn. Move it along. Let's put this guy here and move these down a little bit. I'll go with. Rough scene. Er. Okay. That'll easily complete it. Cancels rough seas and. Yep. Alright, top of the deck for me. One. Go fishing. Draw a card. Oh uh, no, so when you complete that, you'll draw a card. Okay. Ah, oh, I need a crew member. Dang it. This is barrels. Off to forage. Oh, no. Oh, no. These are all awful. These aren't going to help me. I'll put this one here, I guess. Two crew members is what I need now. Also, I don't know if it's come up, but a... A card that cancels something like illness cancels all instances of it. Yep. Uh, okay, so I'll play a two, which will give us Oh man. You gotta forage? I have to forage. Well, all I need is one person symbol. So I'm guessing you're gonna want to put this on there then. Uh, no, 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 actually. No? I'm gonna put. It's only gonna cost you a barrel. Yeah, but that's worth three points. Oh, okay. Actually. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Another three points. And I still can't complete it, so I have to forge again. I put another person on there. I'll take these guys. All right. 
Alright, this is gonna... Gonna end it. Now, you'll end the game and I won't have a chance to play a turn then? No, so... Everyone how, gets one more turn, right? how it works is I play this. Yep. That's enough to complete it. So yep. I'll take this. Score this. I've now completed five segments. So this yep. is my last journal card. Everyone else in the game gets one more turn. And the rest of the cards in your hand don't matter. Okay, so I need three dudes. One, two, three. Yep. These will go. I'll get a draw card for going fishing. Yep, but it doesn't matter. It might if it's a three. And I don't have a three That's in my hand. True. This goes here. And... This goes here. Cards in the hand don't matter at the end of the game? Nope. Okay. Now we just add up... Uh, so we'll move our guys away. And we'll push these over so you guys can see a good look. All right, so I've got three, six, uh, nine, ten, twelve points showing. So do I. So now it all comes down to Should these. Should do dramatically one at a time? Three. 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 Two. Two. Three. 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 Two. Three. No! <laughs> you won by one point. But I had more cards in hand. Uh, I think we had about the same amount of cards in hand. Oh. Okay then. Well, well done. Then that is the game J Days of Discovery. What's this? The, the number one Tales of Danger. So and I mean, we can segments. expect more episodes. I would imagine so. Had cool. you, you like this game? Yeah. I actually really like this game. Uh, I think each of the three parts are unique. I love card systems that have the different pieces that you're going to be attaching yeah, to I really, it. I, my, my only review, since this isn't the review part, is I like modular cards. That it can do a lot of things. Yep. Really fun game. If you guys are interested in taking a look at the game Days of Discovery, go ahead and check out the link below in the description. It's on the Game Crafter, and you can go ahead and pick up yourself a copy. If you would like to take a look at our review, which will come next week on Friday, you can go ahead and do so as well before making your final purchasing decision for this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. This game and uh, walkthrough video was sponsored by the Game Crafter. We look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next time. time.